we're trying this beanie thing again. I think the last time I tried this was about three years ago, but you know, we're gonna try. <laughs> Sup peeps! I had quite the week. This week was the first full day week that I've had since a long time. So the f we had December break and then the first week back after break, Monday was off so everyone could test for COVID because the Omicron's a thing. And then we had Friday off because it was a snow day. So it was a very, very long three day week. But this week was our first five day week since then and I barely made it through. So today I'm going to be talking about the adventure that I had in AP Psychology this week. Um, AP Psych was a mistake. <laughs> I really thought that I would like um, a social science, but I don't. I don't know if it's because I just don't like the material or I don't like the teacher or I don't like something else, but it's a big mistake. Basically, I just don't like one of those things. You'll, I'll leave it up to you to decide which one is true. <laughs> so the unit that we're on right now is uh, we were doing moral development and somehow like, I don't know how we got on this topic, but we were talking about um, Kohlberg's stages of moral development. If you don't know what those are, um, basically it's like, like three separate stages, no, three separate levels. And then there's like two to three stages in each level. And they all correspond to like different levels of morality, if that makes sense. All of this is like really speculative because Kohlberg only did his studies on uh, white boys. So, you know, obviously it's not gonna be a applied to all thing. For the most part, it works pretty well, I think, whatever. So basically the first stage is like you avoid, you only follow rules to avoid punishment. The second stage is you follow rules to get rewards. The third stage is you wanna just fit in with everyone else, but you still wanna follow the laws. The fourth stage, I forgot. The fifth stage is basically like you are advocating for the welfare of everyone as a whole. And then the sixth stage is kind of like, like it's it's just worded weirdly. It's like you make your own decisions, but like you also care about other people. It kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't make sense. I don't know. Anyway, somehow in my class, we got onto the topic of is Donald Trump, what what is his level on this morality scale? And immediately I'm thinking he's below the scale because he really does not make good decisions. But one kid in my class raised his hand and said, I think he's at level five which uh, once again is the second lowest level from the top. He goes, I think he's a level five because he advocated for the Israeli people during like the Israel-Palestine conflict and those are my people. And I was like, oh man, yeah, okay, that might be true, but the Palestinians also have rights too. But then like issues like LGBTQ healthcare and Black Lives Mattering, he says no to those things, but he says yes to that other thing, but he says no to basic human rights. So, huh, hmm, huh. It really made me go like, how is, how could you even think about Donald Trump being like on the morality scale at that high of a level when he literally actively is a white supremacist and is a homophobe and all these other things? It literally got me all mad and I raised my hands like, how can you um, say that when he wanted to take healthcare away from people like me and he actively said that black lives don't matter? So, um, make that make sense. And then my favorite thing was as soon as that student said that another kid in the class yelled out loud, you're gonna put a racist at level five? And it was the funniest thing that happened in a while. So this class is a whole thing. My favorite thing about psychology is that it's honestly like all speculation except for the biology, <laughs> except for the biology part. All of this is like, it's kind of crazy. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. S s that's not a word. Subscribe down below for new videos every single Friday. I actually got a video out this week. Woohoo, I'm the best. So thank you for watching. Um, uh... Oh, I missed.